just you who wants to blow fast fast aside jesus christ there is nobody else that is a standard for measuring success the in this trigger now if you're a wicked person i don't run i know you know yourself all right hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi if you're seeing me for the first time my name is grace mcfarlane thank you for sitting with me today we're going to be talking about something really really necessary and important today i think that this could have been the first video i uploaded but forgive me for not uploading or not even filming this video today we're going to be talking about pressure dealing with pressure that's what we're going to be talking about today it's a very very important discussion it's a very necessary conversation so let's head over into today's we video know what pressure is right good so today we're going to be talking about dealing with pressure which includes knowing your triggers and knowing how to manage yourself when you're under pressure believe you me everybody everybody's uh, we, we experience pressure there's no human being that would say to you okay i don't know what it feels like to be under pressure that's not true we've all had a fair share of pressure so first off let's talk about uh knowing your what are those things that trigger you what are those things that put you under pressure number one will be timing and judging yourself based off of other people's method based off of their pace and their timing look aside jesus christ there is nobody else that is a standard for measuring success in this life no one else because nobody is perfect like jesus so it's of course only jesus who happens to be the standard we used to measure so success. you find out whenever you put yourself under pressure or rather you find that whenever you you use others to measure success to measure what it is to be successful to look successful to have uh, amassed so much you're putting yourself under so much pressure and it's a very very unnecessary thing to do only jesus and this is the standard with which we measure success full stop moving on now one of the things that triggers pressure is unhealthy competition boy oh boy look there is no need to compete with any other person Unhealthy competition is the highway to an early grave. It can kill you, kill your dreams, kill your visions, but trust me, you may not know. How will you know? Then you're not gonna know. <laughs> okay, unhealthy competition is very, very unnecessary. There's no need to compete with anybody. If there's anyone you should be in competition with, it should be yourself. Compete with yourself every single day. I'll do yourself every single day. You're the one who should compete with you. You shouldn't be competing with another person. Look, no one is worth it for you to say, oh, I'm going to compete with this person. Oh, I'm going to compete with that person. No, your flavor is different. Your glory is different. Your spice is different. So why in the hell do you want to trade that for something else? It's rather very unnecessary to engage in unhealthy competition. And it's one of the things that puts people under so much pressure. Pressure that is not even necessary. Pressure that doesn't hold water. Honor yourself. Respect yourself by not engaging in unhealthy competition compete with yourself that's just next it. trigger now if you're a wicked person i don't run i know you know yourself if you're a wicked person this particular one is for you if the success of other people puts you under pressure then i'm so sorry but i'm not sorry to say this you are a wicked person yes if everybody succeeding puts you under pressure i think you should go check yourself something is seriously wrong with you because at the end of the day success will go around everybody there's no need to feel pressured or put yourself under pressure because somebody's succeeding everybody's time is different everybody's space is different it's when you don't understand the concept of timing and space that you begin to feel that okay you're not succeeding because okay you're not succeeding like every other person which is not even it you don't use people to measure success i've said it i said it from the beginning of this video that jesus christ is the only has stick is the only standard we use to measure success yes because he tried and did it, and he did it perfectly so there's no point being triggered by the success of other people if that thing if that if, if other people's success pains you i'm so sorry no i'm not even sorry you're just a wicked person so 
that is this one is for the wicked people so sit your behind and let's talk for two minutes this is not out of my village this is not a matter of my village people because you can actually be your village people you can be a village people and you not even know success will go around everybody it's just it will succeed at different times Yes, because my timing and your timing is different. God was not stupid when he made it that way. It's just you who wants to blow fast, fast. You don't want to sit and understand the concept of time. So success will go around everybody. Stop being wicked. So yes. how do you manage and how do you, do, how do you deal with pressure? I think it's easy. It's easy. Very easy to manage and deal with pressure. Number one. Stop using other people's tape to measure success. Please, I beg in the name of God, if you used to do it, stop it. It's very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy. One of the best ways that you can help yourself escape this whole pressure stuff is understanding that nobody is the yardstick. Nobody is the standard for measuring uh, success except Jesus Christ. So any other tape that is not of God that you use to measure success will constantly put you under pressure. So do not use other people's tape to measure success. Number two, do not compete with anybody but yourself. Stay away from that. You don't want to die early. You don't want to have an, a, a heart attack. Stop it. Don't engage in unhealthy competition. If you want to compete, compete with yourself. Understand what you did yesterday and when you're blessed with today, outdo yourself yesterday. That's just how it's supposed to be every single day. And then you get better at being you. It helps you to embrace who you are, love who you are, love your struggles, love love the things that you've had to overcome to get to the point that you are right now. So please do not engage in unhealthy competition. There's no need to be jealous or be pained about other people succeeding. That's one of the ways that you manage it. Don't get angry. Don't get jealous that somebody has succeeded and that somebody's not you. You know the funny thing? We're all succeeding now. We're all succeeding in different ways. We're all succeeding different times. It's just that some people just want to blow like bomb quick, quick. That's, that's where the problem is. See, there are people that will do one thing and need to put them in the lamb light it will bring the spotlight to them there are people that will do that same one thing but it will not bring the spotlight to them at that particular time understand this thing yes so don't get mad that somebody else has succeeded and that somebody is not you so the very last one understand your timing and work with it if you know if you know timing if you understand your timing if you work with it you will notice that you are not under pressure you notice that you have also succeeded and you are also you are also succeeding everybody will succeed differently different times different things will bring us to the limelight different things will bring the spotlight closer to us so just understand your timing and never throw away your flavor for anything your spice is different your flavor is different your glow is different like i love the fact that all of us bring different flavors different spices it's when you don't value the spice and the flavor that you bring you start to put yourself under pressure look at me sweet hot vanilla who else is gonna be as sweet as hot as me nobody that's just it so understand timing <laughs> understand your timing and work with that thank you guys for sticking with me we've come to the end of today's video remember to like to share and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video ciao